that. All right, quick look outside, everyone. A little bit of cloud coverage this morning, maybe even a little bit of shower activity, but we have a wonderful day ahead and a wonderful weekend as well. I'll get you ready coming up. Plus, two people are dead following a vehicle crash involving an RV that left the camper's contents spread out across the road. And with fire season in full swing, the seal of fire department is shining a light on the importance of mental health for firefighters during such a stressful season. Good Morning Northwest continues right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. And I'm Jason Valentine. It's 30 seconds away from 6 a.m. Oh. <laughs> counting down. <laughs> we're counting down, absolutely. And welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to midweek. And we're counting down the days in June. And of course, when we hit yes. July 1st on uh, Saturday, unofficially, halfway point of 2023. Oh, okay. Now with February... Yes kind of screwing things hey. up with the 28 days. <laughs> it's not officially that, but still, we're very, but really July 4th is your halfway point of the yes. year. And 2023, just Flying zipping by. on by. And it's starting to feel so much like summer. Yes. With triple digit temperatures triple on the way. Triple digits on the way, or at least near it for our cities mm -hmm. by Friday. Let's take a look outside. And again, we do have some cloud coverage this morning. And again, could see a quick, quick shower or two. But we're going to start to clear up as we get to our afternoon and evening hours. And folks, we have sunshine on the way, and it's going to continue for the next couple of days, probably through uh, July 4th. So we are looking at just little bits of showers. And again, we may not even reach the ground. These are so slight, but still could see just a hint of showers. But we're going to see very nice conditions today as we move along. Uh, already seeing it in Yakima. We're going to see mostly sunny skies, highs in the lower 90s, lower 90s for the tri city area as well. Winds right around 10 miles per hour. Walla Walla looking at the upper 80s. So folks get ready for a beautiful day eventually today. But as we get to tomorrow and into the next couple of days at least, plenty of sunshine and hotter temperatures are on the way. Folks, we have a lot of talk about in my forecast. But for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Two people have died following a crash at the intersection of Highway 395 and Crestlock near the Pasco Country Mercantile yesterday. Washington State Patrol says a vehicle towing an RV failed to yield to oncoming traffic when turning left onto East Crestlock. It was struck, killing the passenger 66-year-old Deborah Bowes of Cheney. The driver, 73-year-old Jeffrey Bowes, later died at Cadillac Regional Medical Center. The driver of the other vehicle was not hurt. The driver of a vehicle involved in a crash on Clearwater Avenue yesterday afternoon landed inside a nearby bank. The crash happened at the intersection of Clearwater and North Johnson Street around 415. Authorities say the driver of one vehicle ran a stop sign and clipped another vehicle, sending it crashing through the window and the wall of the bank. No one was seriously hurt. The minor injuries were treated at the scene. Police say no one was hurt inside the bank. The cost of the damage is not yet known. Vehicles hitting animals has prompted a request from the Benton County Sheriff's Office. According to a post on the agency's Facebook page, there have been numerous reports of vehicles hitting animals. The Sheriff's Office says this has mostly happened at night or in the early morning hours. It asks drivers to be aware and attentive so everyone arrives safely to their destination. Hot temperatures and very dry conditions create a combustible and dangerous mix. This is a live look at Toppenish as the Yakima County Fire Marshal declared an outdoor burn ban through the summer for unincorporated Yakima County. The burn ban takes effect this Saturday, July 1st and lasts through September 30th. It means no outdoor burning, which includes bonfires and recreational fires. A violation could cost $1,000 and result in an arrest and potential jail time. Report any violations you see to the Yakima County Sheriff's Office. And for questions about agricultural field or orchard burning, contact the Yakima Regional Clear Air Agency. Local firefighters are already dealing with more calls and fewer resources. With the added pressure of wildfire season, it can be hard to keep up. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell spoke with the SELA Fire Department about how the pressure affects firefighters' mental health and what they're doing to address it. 
Research shows one in five firefighters and paramedics meet the criteria for post-traumatic stress disorder at some point during their career. Even more have calls that affect their mental health day to day. The EMS part of it definitely takes the biggest toll. If we have a, a fire and a, and a family loses their house, they lose everything. That, that's really tough. Especially when it's a case you can relate to. For me, it's been calls that involve children or something that I can relate to my family. Those are the those are the calls that get to me the most. He says talking with colleagues can help. After big events, we try to have debriefings, after action reviews, to kind of talk about these things, uh, mitigate any problems that might come up before they start. But sometimes it takes professional help or taking a break. It, it does build up. There have been some of our folks that have had to step away for two or three weeks, a month at a time, just to kind of reset. More calls and fewer volunteers since COVID, plus the added calls for wildfire season means more stress. And now, a big lifestyle change for full-time SELA firefighters used to working 6 to 6 Monday through Friday and having volunteers cover evenings and weekends. We have had to go to 40 our shifts just to keep up with with multiple calls back to back our volunteer numbers just aren't able to pick up that slack our numbers better than last year but summers are rough it's getting harder to find full crews for the evenings uh, weekends are even harder yet as we're in vacation season which is why they always need more help so the more people we have r running these calls so each individual is getting a little bit less of that. that. That would definitely be a help. For firefighters' mental health and to make sure they have the staff they need as calls continue to increase. In Sela, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. The Sela Fire Department recruits volunteer firefighters all year long and accepts applications until the end of September when they start the hiring process. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. Folks, a little bit of cloud coverage this morning, but we'll see some sunshine as well and do get ready for more sun and heat on the way for our extended 4th of July weekend. All of that, my first alert weather forecast coming up. Plus, your first paycheck in July may be a little smaller than you're used to as the Walk Cares Act officially goes into effect on the 1st of July. It's great to see you. Come on down. Welcome to Sea Galley. Dinner tonight or the Shipwreck Lounge. May I suggest our Surf and Turf special, Prime Rib and Crab. There's working you. And then there's chill you. Chill you is more carefree and curious. More present. More relaxed. More fun. Chill you is the best you. There you are. Bring back your chill you with an escape to Coeur d'Alene, the city by the lake. Find countless ways to play and stay in CDA at visitcda.org. Ooh, someone just got the new DQ cake batter cookie dough blizzard. All that DQ soft serve cake batter flavor, confetti cookie dough pieces, and signature sprinkles? Dad, you said you'd wait until you got home before digging in. I never said that. Pretty sure you did. Ooh, cue the confetti! That's cold. Because the new DQ cake batter cookie dough blizzard won't be here forever. Only at DQ. Happy tastes good. Get it in the app. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. My name is Lauren Martin. I started to work out at Hanford in 1982. And for 20 years, I worked with the fleet, uh, repairing cranes, locomotives, cars, ambulances, fire trucks, everything. In after 20 years, then I came down with a disease and my doctors in Spokane strongly encouraged me to change careers. It's just amazing if the, just recently I had a need for a walker, right there it was. If I need any supplies, they're there for me. All I have to do is pick up the phone and it's there. So we'll definitely evaluate their past employment. As a registered nurse myself, I'll look through their medical records and I'll look to see maybe what medical conditions they have and we'll be very upfront with them, honest about whether they do have a claim that could warrant benefits or not. Held over by popular demand, the Battle of the Brands Northwest Spa Sale. Save up to 50% off hot tubs and swim spas. From competing brands fighting for your business. Easy financing. Immediate delivery. And Sunday at Kennewick's Columbia Center Mall. MWSpaSale.com.
This is it. $165 registration extended for just two more days. It's midnight, Sunday, July 2nd. On this Wednesday morning, well, most people in the state of Washington will notice a new tax coming out of your July paycheck. It's the WA Cares Fund, and it's going to start collecting money July 1st. You've seen something like this before. Washington's paid family and medical leave insurance program started collecting a piece of your paycheck in 2019. As of this year, for every $10 you make, the state gets eight cents. Some of that comes out of your paycheck. Some of it is paid by your employer. The money goes to make sure that workers can take time off to deal with family or medical issues and still get paid by the state. The Walk Cares Act is somewhat different. It's designed to pay for long-term care, like hiring someone, including a family member, to come help you for a couple of hours per day, or to pay for changes to your home, like a wheelchair ramp, if you need it in the future. Starting July 1st, the state will get about six cents from every $10 you make. People should be able to start applying for benefits in 2026. For Apple Valley News Now, I'm Alyssa Warner. And if you live outside the state of Washington or you're married to an active duty member of the military, you can ask for an exemption to the WA CARES tax. Well, Ford says layoffs are coming and they're blamed or they're blamed on the switch to electric vehicles. It's not clear what the overall change will be since Ford has also announced plans to hire more people in different areas. And they're not talking specific numbers, although the company said most of the layoffs will be engineers. Ford said earlier this year it's losing billions of dollars on electric vehicles, but they're expecting that will be turned around soon. One big factor in whether electric vehicles becoming more common in the United States or not is the batteries. People buying electric vehicles won't get the full tax rebate unless their batteries are made in the United States with materials that come from a very short list of countries. Right now, workers are building a lithium mine in Nevada near the Oregon state line. But yesterday, a federal appeals court heard arguments to block that development. Native American tribes and environmentalists say the mine shouldn't have been approved in the first place. But the company building the mine says no other site could provide enough lithium to meet United States clean energy laws. Coming up, Riley Fitzgerald is back in studio to help you avoid finding yourself on the wrong side of the law when lighting off fireworks this coming 4th of July. And I'll return with your first alert weather forecast. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. Stick with us on this Wednesday morning. My Cheddar Biscuit Breakfast Sandwiches check all the boxes. Delicious? Check. Great deal? Check. Served on buttermilk biscuits with real cheddar cheese baked into them? Didn't know that was a box, did you? Well, it is. Check. Get my two for $6 Cheddar Biscuit Breakfast Sandwiches any time of day. If your family is anything like this, you need quality floors from Empire Today. Like durable carpet with built-in stain and pet protection. Tough wood laminate with a scratch-resistant finish. Or waterproof vinyl plank floors. Even bath time is no match. And when life happens, Empire backs every floor with great warranties. Quality floors you can count on. Save $350 on your next project. Call this special number now. 1-844-254-8536. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. So, Richardson family, the neighbors are very curious about your new family member. Oh, Robe Elizabeth? Hello. We built her when our daughter moved out so we could keep our family plan and save money. With US Cellular, you don't need a fourth line to get the best deal. It's just $29.99 per line for one, two, or three lines. Oh. I guess we don't need a fourth line anymore. This is awkward. Now at U.S. Cellular, it's just $29.99 per line. Plus, every plan is price protected. U.S. Cellular, built for us. Made with freshly cracked egg and real cheddar baked into the biscuits, my Cheddar Biscuit Breakfast Sandwiches are the best way to start your morning. Even if your morning starts in the afternoon. Slept through all six of your alarms? We're here for you. Get two for just six bucks. All day at Jack in the Box. Bikes, pancakes, a parade, the cardboard regatta, fireworks, and so much more. As Apple Valley News Now welcomes Pasco's grand old 4th of July celebration. Get more information at PascoGO4.com. And we'll see you at Pasco's grand old 4th of July. 
Next Live guest co-host Ryan Seacrest with Jimmy Kimmel. You are a brilliant pizza maker. Can I be honest? That was a Totino's. Plus, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. A portion of the news is sponsored by Kubota. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. We've made it to midweek and a nice morning so far, though we do have some cloudy conditions and maybe even a slight chance of a shower. But as we move along in our day, we're going to see clearing and then we're going to see that clearing stick with us into our weekend. I'll get to that in a bit. So we do have cloud coverage coming in from the northeast and just have little bits of shower activity. We could see just uh, a hint of shower activity coming through as we head into the next couple of hours along the blues. Other than that, we're going to be looking pretty darn nice, especially as we get to tomorrow. Here's what tomorrow morning is going to be looking like. And then we're going to be seeing those clear skies continue into our Thursday, into our Friday and into our weekend ahead, even extending into 4th of July, which is kind of an extension of the weekend. If you have Monday off or even if you don't, it'll be a very nice next four days uh, into the weekend. So temperatures we're currently in the 60s through most of our areas up to 70 in Hermiston down to 57 in Ellensburg. But still, folks, we are warm and we're going to stay warm as we head into the week ahead. We're about five degrees above our average for all of our cities today. By Friday, we're going to be 10 plus above our averages as we get to possibly the triple digits for the Tri-Cities. We'll cool off a bit into our weekend proper. And then by 4th of July, maybe triple digits again for the Tri-Cities. So that means all of our areas will be mostly in the mid to upper 90s. It is going to be very warm very quickly. And again, ample sunshine will be part of the deal. So light winds this morning, and those are going to continue for the next couple of days. Again, we could see a push, a brief push, 10 to maybe even 15 mile per hour at times. But other than that, we're going to be looking at a pretty calm week ahead, maybe a little better of a chance on your Saturday, but still folks, pretty nominal winds as we move into our July. My goodness, it is July 1st by Saturday. So take a look at our allergy forecast where it has been for the past couple of days. For trees and mold, we're in that lower moderate zone for grass and weeds. We're still in the low zone and keep an eye out for the allergen nettle. So for our highs today, we're going to remain a little bit warmer. We've just been kind of slowly moving up the ladder temperature wise. Lower 90s for Toppenish Yakima, 88 for Ellensburg over in the mid Columbia, mostly mid to lower 90s. Still have that 89 in Connell and in the Blue Mountain region. We're right in those upper 80s. So seven day forecast and folks, we're just going to keep warming up towards Friday. 96 for Yakima on Friday with all of that sunshine and then 99 by 4th of July Tuesday. Overnight lows mid to lower 60s, upper 50s. But folks, plenty of sunshine starting tonight. In the Tri-Cities area, 96 by Thursday and triple digits possible Friday and Tuesday. Cooling off or let's just say less hot. Uh, to 95 by Sunday. But for your Wednesday, for today, we have quite a bit of cloud coverage this morning, maybe a slight chance of a little shower, Blue Mountain region into the mid Columbia. Then we'll see clearing as we get to our evening hours, highs, lower 90s, upper 80s. It's going to be a hot one today, but we continue to warm up towards it looks like our apex for at least this week will be Friday with possible triple digits. Folks, the heat and sun will be prevalent very soon. Well, the 4th of July is now less than a week away and some places in Washington do not allow fireworks to be set off and others only allow certain types. Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio. Riley, what are the firework laws for the mid-Columbia region? Good morning, Jill. Kennewick is allowing the sale and use of fireworks for the first time in more than 30 years after the Kennewick City Council approved the use last year. Benton County, Benton City, Richland, Kennewick, and Pasco allow the use of some fireworks, just not the ones that, quote, go up and blow up. 
The city of West Richland allows any fireworks that are legal in Washington state, having the loosest firework laws in the Tri-Cities. However, even if fireworks are purchased in places where it is legal to use them, they are only legal to fire off in the city it is purchased from unless there's a burn ban. Then they are not allowed at all. Right now, there are no burn bans in place for the Mid-Columbia region, but there has been a higher fire danger recently, which means that might change. Benton County Commissioners approved an ordinance that goes into place this year that allows county commissioners to ban fireworks between now and after the 4th of July if there is extreme fire danger. That would only affect unincorporated parts of Benton County. Fireworks are banned in Franklin County, Prosser, and Connell. Coming up in about half an hour on Good Morning Northwest, the laws in the Blue Mountain region and Oregon for celebrating the 4th of July with fireworks. In studio, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Esther's home in Franklin County celebrated its final phase of construction with a ribbon cutting yesterday. The project was made possible thanks to Mirror Ministries and is aimed at giving hope to young people who have survived sex trafficking. The children that attend Esther's home will have a full ride scholarship to the program instead of families having to spend tens of thousands of dollars. Trisha McFarlane with Mirror Ministries says it doesn't matter the background, all of them deserve a chance. We want to make sure that whether the kid is a um, ward of the state or if the kid is from a healthy family or from a rich family or from a poor family, whatever it is, that kid can get the help that they need. While the home hasn't yet opened its doors, there are already five girls in line to get the help they need. The ministry plans to build two more homes on the property to help more people. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, students from Washington State University Tri-Cities are celebrating pride with their second annual Gender Fluid Closet. This week, Walker's Furniture is combining their anniversary sale with their 4th of July sale for double the discounts. Where the more you spend, the more you save, up to $760 off. Or you can take advantage of special five years no interest financing with no money down. So you can get that new living room furniture or stylish bedroom set you've been wanting and pay for it later. Making it the perfect time to furnish your life for less. During the 43rd 4th of July sale at Walker's. Everybody in the Tri-Cities has been to a Hubby's Pizza Party, right? You haven't? Acquire the Hubby's Habit and book your party today. Delicious, mouth-watering food made with only the freshest ingredients. It's party time at Hubby's Pizza, a hometown favorite for nearly 45 years. Book your party today. Hi, I'm Gino from Italostone. We just received a new container of course, Britannica Gold made in the USA. Visit at Italostone today to see, touch and choose from a huge inventory in stock. At Italostone, we measure, fabricate and install your kitchen and bath countertops in five to seven days. No one can beat Italostone prices apples to apples. Here at Italostone, we are with you every step of the way. Cut your ties to the fuel pump with an all-electric vehicle from Overturf Kia. You'll find a great selection of new vehicles in stock now. Lease a 2023 all-electric Kia EV6 Wind with all-wheel drive for just $579 per month or purchase for $53,849. Take delivery today or reserve a car that's on its way. Shop online anytime at OverturfKia.com. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Apple Valley, it's our special place we call home. From the Cascades in the west to the Blue Mountains in the east, Apple Valley News Now covers our area like no one else. And First Alert Weather leads the way with advanced technology and the team that knows how to use it. Watch Apple Valley News Now on broadcast channels 35 and 42, Spectrum Cable channels 4 and 780, DirecTV channel 35 plus Dish Network channel 42. On air, online, and on the go with our new mobile app, Apple Valley News Now is truly on your side. This is Broadway's Rock of Ages Band, July 21st at Legends Casino Hotel. 
Welcome back at 622 on this Wednesday morning. Well, more states across the nation are passing or proposing legislation to ban LGBTQ plus books and topics from being discussed in school. However, research conducted by the Division of Adolescent and School Health found that programs supporting this vulnerable population not only improve their health and well-being, but also that of their heterosexual peers. In response, a handful of states are making inclusion of the LGBTQ plus community the law of the land. ABC's Rena Roy is here with the story. There's a growing cultural divide over allowing LGBTQ plus subjects to be discussed in America's schools. More than a dozen states already have laws on the books prohibiting the inclusion of topics on the LGBTQ plus community from being considered in the classroom. And even more anti-LGBTQ bills are currently advancing their way through state houses. One of the key proponents of these bills is Moms for Liberty, a national organization that advocates for more parental rights in education and wants discussions of issues like LGBTQ plus rights and racial inequality kept out of the classroom. Children aren't really taught to be literate. They're taught to be politically literate or racially literate or divided in some way based on another person's worldview. But here at Hackensack Middle School in New Jersey, educators embrace America's cultural and racial diversity. That's because in 2019, Governor Phil Murphy enacted a law requiring public schools to integrate the contributions of persons with disabilities and LGBTQ plus people into the curricula. And similar laws are on the books in six other states. Teacher Heather Mecca says the New Jersey law is about students seeing themselves in the lessons, not about exposing them to inappropriate subject matter. It's choosing work that the students can engage with. And it's not just one narrative. I think it's really great that the school is doing this. It makes everybody feel welcome. As you walk through the halls, one can certainly see why. Words of affirmation are around every corner. Teacher Dee Coleman is an advisor of the Gay Straight Alliance, a club aimed at bringing all students and faculty together. According to the CDC, student groups like this help reduce adverse risk behaviors such as unsafe sex, drug use, and cutting classes because of safety concerns in school. This year, they painted benches in pride colors using grant money from the nonprofit group. It gets better. I describe the Gay Straight Alliance as my heart work. I am I am able to keep kids safe. I listen. I don't have an agenda. I don't question. For me, I feel included and happy that other people are like me. Sometimes the topics that come up can be a bit overwhelming. Teachers don't press the issue with those who aren't comfortable. It's nice to know that if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. Like no one's forcing you to. For teacher Janaea McClenney, the biggest lesson of all is to respect one another. Our goal is to equip our students and these young adults with these skills that they're supposed to have outside of this building. And if we're not doing that, then that's a disservice to them. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Well, for Pride Month, Washington State University's Tri-Cities Mosaic Center for Student Inclusion and the Uptown Rainbow Connection partnered up again for their second gender fluid closet. The purpose is to create a judgment-free zone for individuals to explore outfits and accessories of various sizes and styles. All clothing has been donated and is free for anyone. Last year, this was just a three-day event. Now organizers say because of the amount of donations and increased interest, it's been extended. Even after day number one, we've gotten more people coming to this event than we did last year. So it's just super exciting to see folks of all ages. We have kids, we have young adults, adults, um, grandparents coming in to support their family and just making sure that they get what they need uh, from this event, which is awesome. The event is open to the community until Friday from 1 to 7 p.m. in the WSU Tri-City Student Union Building, room 120. The Mosaic Center stands for Mobilizing Opportunities for Student Advocacy, Inclusion, and Culture. It is a home to student resources to enhance equity and inclusion and to discover more about various cultures and learn about current social issues. Well, people who identify as transgender have significantly higher rates of suicide and suicide attempts compared with the rest of the population. According to a Danish study of more than 6.6 .6 million people, researchers found those who identified as trans had 7.7 .7 times the rate of suicide attempts and 3.5 times the rate of suicide deaths than the broader Danish population. Researchers believe the number are probably a significant undercount. That's because they say the records they used do not always capture a person's gender identity. The study was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association. 
Now, the study does not pin down exactly why trans people face a higher suicide risk, but the researchers theorize part of the problem might be minority stress. That's where people are bullied, discriminated against, socially excluded, or faced with general prejudice for who they are. Coming up, alleged victims of a man accused of being a serial rapist are outraged after being set free on a half million dollar bond while the prosecution continues to build their case. We'll be right back. It's the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row. That's five days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend. Plus, get six years no interest. But hurry, the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends soon. Now is the time for a new bath from Bathfitter. Every Bathfitter bath is installed quickly, safely, and beautifully with a lifetime warranty. Go from old to new, from worn to wow. The beautiful bath you've always wanted. Done right. Installed by one expert technician. All in one day. We've been creating moments like these for 35 years. And we're here to help you get started. Book your free virtual or in-home design consultation today. Shelter. Out here, it's the most important thing. But the good thing is, my Ford F-150 provides enough power to keep working. Get a great deal on an F-150 only at your local Ford dealer. Do you have any land that gets no use? Save some money by using an American-made power racking system. It's a more cost-effective option than a standard pole and concrete method. Invest in green energy with the pros at Solar Power Northwest. Solar Power Northwest, a better way to solar. The savings continue with Bymart's latest membership savings book, posted online at bymart.com. There's 16 pages filled with savings in every department. Soak up the sun. We have what you need to cool off in your own pool or get out on the water. Plus, pick up all the essentials for camping in the Pacific Northwest, and don't forget the snacks and beverages to go with it. Save now at Bymart, your Northwest employee-owned membership store. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. Why buy a mattress from Mattress Depot USA? Low prices. Every day, we beat any competitor's price. Selection? All sizes and brands like Sealy, Stearns & Foster, Tempur-Pedic. Customer service. Our sleep specialists average 10 years in the industry. Check out our reviews. Comfort guarantee? 120 nights worth. Same day delivery. Buy it today, sleep on it tonight. Local? Born here, live here. Come see us today. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Sound. Wolves. Boy, they sound hungry. Load up, wolves! Good thing this Ford Explorer has Sync 3 technology. Keeps them entertained on the way to dinner. Get a great deal on an Explorer only at your local Ford dealer. It's the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Denver Mattress. Right now, save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or check out the Summit for only $299.99. Plus six years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the Star Spangled 4th of July sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. This newscast sponsored by Nissan. The suspect believed to be responsible for a series of rapes now finds himself facing additional charges as the prosecution continues to build its case. And the Department of Justice has released its report on the details of Jeffrey Epstein's death in prison. And our heat continues with partly cloudy skies with more sun and heat on the way this weekend. I'll get you prepared my first alert weather forecast. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Sperling. I'm Jason Valentine. Welcome to Wednesday. It's midweek. It's also mid-year. Yes. Yeah, you were saying that on. earlier and it's it's crazy. It's just <laughs> 2023. It just, it just started, I, I swear to goodness. But, I thought so too. But we're in summer, so and we're looking at summer very definitively summer-like conditions Definitely. on the way. <laughs> Let's take a look outside. We do have partly cloudy skies tomorrow, so or this morning, excuse me. Uh, you can see the blue sky up there, but the sun hampered by some cloud coverage, and we're seeing clouds coming in from the uh, northeast, and we're going to continue to see cloud coverage for the next couple of hours. 
We're also seeing just bits and pieces of showers coming through. Even Hanford seeing just a little bit of shower activity. But folks, this is going to clean up in the next couple of hours. We're going to see clearing into our evening and we're going to have a pretty nice day ahead. Already seeing clearing in Yakima. We're in those lower 90s today, so just a little warmer than we were yesterday. Same story for the Tri-Cities and in Walla Walla, we're in those upper 80s. But as we get into our next couple of days, especially Friday, we could be seeing triple digits for some of our cities, including the Tri-Cities. And we're going to be staying very warm into our weekend with ample sunshine on the way. So we have a lot to talk about. I'll get you ready for, well, your extended 4th of July weekend. That's coming up. But for right now, let's send it back to Jill. Now to the case of a suspected serial rapist who was released by a judge earlier this month. We're now learning about more alleged attacks on women dating back years. ABC's Andrea Fujii reports. This morning, new charges against New York lawyer and serial rape suspect Matthew Nilo. He's been indicted in connection with five more sexual assaults in Boston, where he grew up. The assaults dating back to 2007 and 2008. Serial sexual offender, offenders just don't stop assaulting because they get too much out of it, both physically, psychologically, et cetera, and it becomes an obsession. The 35-year-old just weeks ago was charged with seven other counts of rape and kidnapping for alleged attacks on four women during the same time period a decade and a half ago. How do you plead to those offenses? Guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. He was set free this month after his fiance posted a half million dollar bond. One of Nilo's alleged victims outraged. I just thought it was such a disappointment that they were just going to let him walk right out. These are such heinous crimes. Before his arrest, authorities used genealogy websites to identify Nilo, later tracking him down at a corporate event and matching DNA from a water glass to four of his alleged victims. Experts say with these new charges, prosecutors may have a stronger case to keep him behind bars. Going back and now having actual pictures of a suspect, they may well show other victims photographs, perhaps in a photo lineup, to determine if they can actually pick him out. Responding to the new charges, Nilo's attorney says his client denies all the allegations. You can expect both a legal and factual challenge to the government's case. Nilo is due in court next month. Meanwhile, police in Madison, Wisconsin, where Nilo went to college, are now working with Boston police to see if any other cases could be connected to him. A report out yesterday says Jeffrey Epstein was able to kill himself in jail due to careless but not criminal behavior. That determination is from the Justice Department's Office of the Inspector General. It says multiple employees failed to conduct rounds when Epstein was at the New York City's Metropolitan Correctional Center in 2019. The report says Epstein should have been roomed with a fellow inmate since he was on suicide watch and he shouldn't have had extra linens. The medical examiner says he used them to hang himself. Epstein's death 35 days after his arrest on charges of sex trafficking minors is a source of conspiracy theories and intrigue. Two guards on duty the night of Epstein's death later admitted to falsifying records. They agreed to perform community service as part of a deferred prosecution with the DOJ. Jason Valentine returns now with a look at your morning weather forecast. A little cloudy this morning in many of our areas, but we're going to see plenty of sunshine on the way, especially for our hot weekend ahead. I'll get you ready my first alert weather forecast. Plus, just when you thought it was safe to go back to the beach, corgis swarmed Oregon's seaside beach over the weekend for this year's Corgi Beach Takeover. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. You're getting a $1,000 check for Day Spring Ministries. Knowing that you're helping someone else, you know, and that you're making a difference in their life. She's like my hero. Please tell us a story of someone you believe is making an impact. Red or white. At Coyote Canyon, we've got you covered. If you love red, try our Italian Sangiovese, French Grenache, or Spanish Tempranillo. Like what you taste? Wine Club. Come visit our tasting room in Prosser. Coyote Canyon is calling. 
Pasco's Grand Old Fourth of July celebration begins Saturday morning, July 1st at 8 with a family bike ride. July 4th, Tuesday fun begins at Memorial Park with a Kiwanis breakfast at 7, and the Grand Old Fourth of July parade returns with a new extended route at 10. The Camp Patriot show and shine at noon with a cardboard regatta at 1. And the free Grand Old Fourth of July fireworks show is at Pasco Sporting Complex at 10 that evening. More activities info at pascogo4.com. That's pascogo4.com. Introducing the new line of crispy chicken pizzas from Little Caesars. Large pizzas with white sauce and crispy chicken, topped with either a swirl of barbecue, buffalo, or garlic parm sauce, or choose no swirl at all. New crispy chicken pizzas available online for $9.99. Pizza, pizza. Thanks to Les Schwab Tires, I'm a constant backseat driver, but mine's a little stressed about spending. Remember, deep breaths and watch your speed. Even though we're watching our wallets, Les Schwab is still watching out for our safety. So it's right here. Hurry in and save up to $200 on a set of four tires, plus get an extra $50 off with financing. Les Schwab Tires. The sale of the season is here. It's the star-spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row. That's five days where the more you buy, the more you save. Save a hundred bucks on every thousand you spend on living, dining, bedroom, and mattresses. Plus, make your cash go further with six years no interest financing. And check out doorbusters while they last. But don't wait. The star-spangled 4th of July sale at Furniture Row ends Tuesday the 4th. Apple Valley News Now is your television home for NFL Monday Night Football, College Football, GNA, and all the great ABC shows. Plus, Apple Valley News Now leads the way with the best local news and first alert weather. Apple Valley News Now, on your side. Saturday. Join Apple Valley News Now and the Tri-City Dust Devils for a night of baseball and fireworks. It's the best show in town as the Hillsboro Hops play your Dust Devils followed by fireworks. Game time's 6.30 Saturday at Giza Stadium. See you at the game. Next Live, guest co-host Ryan Seacrest with Jimmy Kimmel. You are a brilliant pizza maker. Can I be honest? That yeah. was a Totino's. Plus, Catherine Zeta-Jones. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back. Hundreds of corgis stormed the coast for the annual Corgi Beach Takeover Saturday. All right. These short-legged furry friends gathered at Seaside, Oregon to sponsor the Oregon Humane Society, <laughs> donating all net profits from the event. All right. I pictured oh. like a herd of corgis I know, I running down the beach, <laughs> but uh, this is fine. So cute. It's impossible to walk along the beach without seeing one of these guys run by. Corgi owners participate in costume contest raffles and corgi races. Oh, and there they go racing. Look at their well, short little legs. Well, most of them legs. raced. One stayed at the starting line and just said, nah, <laughs> Wasn't gonna this isn't for bother. me. I no. do think corgis are little cutie pies. I do too. And of course, they're the dogs of Buckingham Palace. That's right. Yes. Very if, royal dogs. If King, uh, King Charles still has the corgis sure. hanging around, but uh, I would assume so. Maybe. I don't know. But anyways, I, I may have to check that out. That's very cute. I'd love to be there. That would be a really fun time. But again, Oregon beaches, even when it's hot, still pretty cool. Oh, okay. Pretty darn Good. cool. Good. Right, Not burning their paws. Quick look outside. I'll have your first alert weather forecast. Let me get you ready for your extended 4th of July weekend coming right up. Speaking of the 4th of July weekend, Riley Fitzgerald joins us one last time to help you avoid any trouble with the law when you set off fireworks this 4th of July. That's next on Good Morning Northwest. This may look like an action-adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. It's a celebration of Merlot this summer in Walla Walla, July 13th through the 15th. Join more than 50 Walla Walla wineries for Celebrate Walla Walla Valley Wine. Take part in special tastings of rare library wines, enjoy intimate winemaker dinners, and gain access to premium Merlots during the wine panel presentation and tasting. Participate in this full sensory experience from July 13th through the 15th. Tickets are on sale now at wallawallawine.com. 
This summer, GMA is popping up all across the country, spreading sunshine and summertime fun in the morning. It's GMA's Rise and Shine Summer Tour. Rise and shine. Rise and shine. So, could we be coming to your hometown? A new roof looks great. A new roof with new gutters looks amazing. With Aero Roofing, amazing is now more affordable than ever. Get 25% off gutters with their new re-roof. Did we mention our 50-year roof warranty at no extra cost? Don't miss this limited time offer. Give Aero Roofing a call today. I'm Buzz the Bee from the Painting Bees. So what do we do? We're a local painting company. We paint exterior, we do interior painting, and cabinetry as well. So if you're interested in a free estimate, visit our website or call us at 591-8160. Rick's Custom Fencing and Decking was proud to take part in the Great American Flag Swap. Our commitment to quality craftsmanship, superior service, and community support is a reflection of our love for this great nation. Rick's Fencing and Decking thanks you for joining us in honoring our veterans and all who serve. Held over by popular demand, the Battle of the Brands Northwest Spa Sale. Save up to 50% off hot tubs and swim spas. From competing brands, fighting for your business. Easy financing, immediate delivery. And Sunday at Kennewick's Columbia Center Mall. MWSpaSale.com. Yakima Federal Savings and Loan was founded in 1905 and has kept your money safe and sound for nearly 120 years. In fact, with our conservative business practices, no depositor of Yakima Federal has ever lost a single penny, not one. Your deposits at Yakima Fed help people buy homes and build strong communities. With 10 local branch locations to serve you, you can trust Yakima Federal to keep your money safe and secure. I'm Leanne Antonio, president of Yakima Federal. Thank you for your business and your trust. With K2 Vision RLE, you can throw away your distance and reading glasses. Plus, you'll never develop a cataract. Schedule a free Zoom consultation with us today. K2 Vision RLE. No glasses, no contacts, no readers. This may look like an action-adventure movie, but it's a Nissan sales event ad. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select Rogue trims. These epic offers won't last forever. Portion of Cap KV sponsored by Lord's Health and Trio's Health, making communities healthier. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Jason Valentine. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. We've made it to midweek. We got the sunshine on the mountains, but not yet to the ground in uh, Toppenish, right near Legends Casino. And folks, we do have partly cloudy to mostly cloudy conditions this morning, so not as much sunshine as we're used to, but we saw this yesterday as well. We're seeing cloud coverage coming in from the northeast, and we're going to continue to see uh, cloudy conditions for the next couple of hours. We could even see just some slight shower activity a little bit going on in Hanford so keep an eye out for that but we're going to see clearing as we move along in our day now in our future cast we could see just a hint of shower activity coming through most likely the foothills of the blues but as we move into overnight and into tomorrow look at all this clear skies and we're going to continue to see these clear skies as we get to Friday Saturday Sunday and it looks like it's going to continue into our 4th of July Tuesday. So very nice conditions are on the way and we have ample sunshine to go along with increasing heat, especially as we get to Friday and as we get to Tuesday. So current temperatures 70 for Hermiston, mostly in the 60s, 57 our cool spot for Ellensburg. Now we're going to be above our averages today. We're about five degrees above our average. By Friday, we're going to be 10 degrees plus above our average. Tri-Cities area going to be right at the triple digits. We'll see a bit of a cool down for your weekend or less hot, let's just say it that way. And then back to triple digits possible for our Tuesday. So hot temperatures are on the way with all of that sunshine. Should be perfect. Just remember, please, if you're outside, hydrate and make sure you have, again, sunblock uh, as you're heading outside. Light winds, and we expect to see mostly light winds for at least the next couple of days. And again, as always, we could see a burst of 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. But other than that, we're going to be looking very nice. Again, those winds will be very brief, nothing really sustained. And we're just going to be seeing mostly light winds. Again, some breezy conditions at times for the week ahead. So for our allergy forecast, again, trees, mold, where they have been, lower moderate range, weeds and grass still in that low range. So uh, pretty good still for our allergy forecast. All right, for our highs today, we're in the lower 90s for the Yakima Valley and 88 for Ellensburg. When Ellensburg is 88, you know it's going to be warm. So we move into the mid-Columbia, we're right in those mid to lower 90s, except for Connell, right at 89. 
Over in the Blue Mountain region, we do expect to see upper 80s and uh, we should be seeing 90s by tomorrow, if not definitely by Friday. So seven day forecast for Thursday. Tomorrow, 94 for Yakima, up to 96 by Friday. Then right mid 90s for your weekend, then 99 by 4th of July Tuesday. So folks, warm temperatures are on the way and look at all of that sunshine. I guess only uh, covered up a bit by the, well, it'll be the moonlight though that'll be covered by the fireworks, but still folks, you get what I mean. In the Tri-Cities, 96 tomorrow, triple digits by Friday, and again, mid 90s by Sunday, but back to the triple digits by 4th of July itself. So beautiful conditions are on the way. For today though, these clouds and maybe a little shower activity this morning, then we'll see clearing into our evening hours. Highs today, lower 90s, upper 80s. Just get ready for those warmer temperatures on the way starting tomorrow. The 4th of July is now less than a week away. Some places in Washington do not allow fireworks to be set off, and some only allow certain types of fireworks. Apple Valley News Now's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio. Riley, what are the firework laws for the Blue Mountain region? Good morning, Jill. In the Blue Mountain region, fireworks are allowed to be discharged in unincorporated Walla Walla County. This includes only fireworks that are legal in Washington state, which means most fireworks except bottle rockets and firecrackers. Fireworks are also allowed in the city of Walla Walla between 9 a.m. and midnight on the 4th of July. Even if fireworks are purchased in places where it is legal to use them, they are only legal to fire them off in the place that it is purchased. Unless there is a burn ban, then they are not allowed at all. Right now, there's no burn bans in place for the Blue Mountain region, but there has been higher fire danger recently, which means that might change. Many local governments encourage people to attend a fireworks display instead of lighting off their own pyrotechnics. Many of these are free and open to the public, including the display held at Walla Walla Community College at 10 o'clock on the 4th of July. We'll have a list of more fireworks shows up later on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. In the state of Oregon, similar to Washington, fireworks that fly in the air, explode, or behave in an uncontrolled or unpredictable manner, manner are not allowed. In studio, I'm Riley Fitzgerald. Thank you, Riley. Esther's home in Franklin County celebrated its final phase of construction with a ribbon cutting yesterday. All right. Ready? Go! The project was made possible thanks to Mirror Ministries and is aimed at giving hope to young people who have survived sex trafficking. Trisha McFarlane with Mirror Ministries says sex trafficking can happen to anyone and that's why it's important the community get involved to help. Very often it's the, the child you go to church with. It's the kid that lives on your street. Um, too often it's a family member and it's happening all around our community. But we have some really, really good people in our community too. And they're working together to make a difference for these kids so that we can prevent, we can intervene, and we can bring that restoration and give some hope. While the home hasn't yet opened its doors, there are already five girls in line to get the help they need. The ministry plans to build two more homes on the property to help more people. We'll be right back with the morning sprint and a final check on your forecast. But first, a look at what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, get ready for our three-day event. How to get your hands on unclaimed money that actually belongs to you. I just got $20. Because it turns out so many people have unclaimed property. You may be in for a very pleasant surprise. That's right. At this moment, your state might have unclaimed money that you may be owed. Cash you've forgotten about or maybe never knew existed. From things like old bank accounts, uncollected insurance policies, even tax returns that perhaps got lost in the mail. Across the nation, more than $20 billion just waiting to be reclaimed by its citizens simply by searching for your name on your state's website or on missingmoney.com. No matter how small or no matter how big, it's your property. And coming up at 7 a.m., we're kicking off our unclaimed money event in Massachusetts with everything you need to know to get the money you're owed. With your GMA First Look, I'm Will Reeve, ABC News, Needham, Massachusetts. Some days I cover up because of my moderate to severe plaque psoriasis. Now I feel free to bare my skin, thanks to Sky Rizzy.
clearer skin? My way. With SkyRizzy, three out of four people achieved 90% clearer skin at four months. In another study, most people had 90% clearer skin even at five years. And SkyRizzy is just four doses a year after two starter doses. Serious allergic reactions and an increased risk of infections or a lower ability to fight them may occur. Tell your doctor if you have an infection or symptoms, had a vaccine, or plan to. Thanks to clearer skin with SkyRizzy, this is my moment. There's nothing on my skin, and that means everything. Now's the time. Ask your doctor about SkyRizzy, the number one dermatologist prescribed biologic in psoriasis. Learn how AbbVie could help you save. Now, the morning sprint. Time right now is 6.52. We're going to get to your first alert forecast in a moment, but first we begin with a look at this morning's top stories. Two people have died following a crash at the intersection of Highway 395 and Crest Lock near the Pasco Country Mercantile yesterday. Washington State Patrol says a vehicle towing an RV failed to yield to oncoming traffic when turning left onto East Crest Lock. It was struck, killing the passenger 66-year-old Deborah Bows of Cheney. The driver, 73-year-old Jeffrey Bows, later died at Cadillac Regional Medical Center. The driver of the other vehicle was not hurt. The driver of a vehicle involved in a crash on Clearwater Avenue yesterday afternoon landed inside a nearby bank. The crash happened at the intersection of Clearwater and North Johnson Street around 415. Authorities say the driver of one vehicle ran a stop sign and clipped another vehicle, sending it crashing through the window and the wall of the bank. No one was seriously hurt. Police say no one was, inside, was hurt inside the bank either. The cost of the damage is not yet known. Vehicles hitting animals has prompted a request from the Benton County Sheriff's Office. According to a post on the agency's Facebook page, there have been numerous reports of vehicles hitting animals. The sheriff's office says this has mostly happened at night or in the early morning hours. It asks drivers to be aware and attentive so that everyone arrives safely to their destination. A live look at Toppenish as the Yakima County Fire Marshal declared an outdoor burn ban through the summer for unincorporated Yakima County. The burn ban takes effect this Saturday, July 1st and lasts through September 30th. It means no outdoor burning, which includes bonfires and recreational fires. A violation could cost $1,000 and result in an arrest and potential jail time. For questions about agricultural field or orchard burning, contact the Yakima Regional Clean Air Agency. The Yakima Fire Department says wildfire season is heating up and the call volume is taking its toll on firefighters. It's not unusual for them to respond to 30 calls in a day and instead of two days on, four days off, some firefighters are working four days on, one day off, and four days on again. Fire officials say you can help by not calling 911 unless you're sure it's an emergency and by not setting off fireworks this 4th of July weekend. We're tracking developing news of a shooting involving a law enforcement officers in Adams County. Investigators say authorities went to arrest 29-year-old Ramon Morphin at work Sunday afternoon as part of a harassment investigation. Investigators say when officers went to arrest him, Morphin started shooting. The officers fired back, killing Morphin. Investigators say the officers had body cameras and they will be reviewing that video along with any surveillance they can find. In Richland, the wading pool in Howard Amon Park is closed. The city closed the wading pool due to a small mechanical issue. A spokesperson with the city of Richland says the issue is relatively minor and that the city is expediting parts for repairs. The city says it does not have an estimated time for reopening the waiting pool. All right, folks, on this Wednesday morning, we have a bit of cloud coverage out there. You can even see a little bit of shower activity in places, but still we have clearing as we get to our evening hours. But for today, we're getting that clouds in from the northeast and seeing a little bit of shower activity rumbling through Hanford. Very light though, very quick see that persist for the next couple of hours but as we move into our evening hours we're going to see more clearing throughout our areas so we get to tomorrow morning and really the next couple of days plenty of sunshine to be had should be a beautiful almost holiday weekend with fourth of july being on tuesday but i'm sure some folks will figure out how to make it so so as we move into our morning hours we're still mid to lower 60s for most of our areas 70 in hermiston 
59 in Ellensburg. We're going to be above our averages for the next week ahead. Today about 5, five degrees above our average, 10 degrees plus as we get to Friday. Light winds are expected today. Again, you could see occasional 10 mile per hour gusts, but still nothing to really uh, worry about. So our highs today, we're in the lower 90s for Yakima Toppenish, 88 for Ellensburg. Over in the mid-Columbia, mid to lower 90s today, upper 80s for uh, Connell. And over in the Blue Mountain region, we're right in those upper 80s. So as we get to tomorrow, we'll be mostly in the mid to lower 90s. By Friday, mid to upper 90s, could even see triple digits for some of our cities, including the Tri-Cities, with plenty of sunshine expected starting tomorrow through at least next week. So folks, get ready for plenty of heat and sun this weekend. Jill. Thanks for joining us on Good Morning Northwest. GMA is next. Apple Valley News Now is back tonight at 5.